I've been using webinars to sell products and services for years, probably at least a decade. I've done hundreds and hundreds of live webinars, but there's a real issue with webinar software, and that is that it is expensive. And look at the pricing here. So this is one easy webinar, um, 990 US dollars for their standard plan every year. Webinar Jam, uh, $79 a month. So again, you know, 800, 900 odd dollars. Then we've got Demio, another popular one. Very expensive, this one. Uh, this lower plan here is $900 a year. And again, this is paid like annually. Then you've got Zoom. Well, Zoom costs a lot of money if you want to do webinars with it if you're just doing like meetings and stuff then you know even then you know 730 pounds this is pound sterling so again a thousand dollars and then another one here go to webinar again you're looking at probably a thousand dollars a year so um i found this other webinar software which has currently got a lifetime deal on and i had to try it out to see if i could save me and my team a whole load of money every month uh, and every year so why not and uh, as i say i've sold an awful lot of stuff via webinars so having a bulletproof webinar software is important there's nothing more embarrassing than being in the middle of a webinar and then there's a connection issue and everyone's saying they can't hear you they can't see you or your video stopped or your screen share stopped it's no good. I'm very fussy about my webinar software. So this is it. And there's a link underneath this video for you to get this right now at an insanely cheap price. So much so that I will be upgrading my own account now. I've tried it out to a much higher tier. Um, shall we just hit that first? Let's just show you right now. This is the tiers. So for example, this AppSumo tier three is 12 hours per session. It's 199 US dollars for ever. That's it. One price. You only just pay 199 dollars. We're not talking a thousand dollars per year. We're talking 199 and that's you. You can have 150 participants per webinar, 50 team members in your account if you want other people to get in on the webinars and things, custom branding. It records all of your webinars, trust me on the features, and it's also got brilliant AI feature that I think you're gonna love. So you've gotta watch this video and I'll give you a quick tour of it and you'll see why I'm so enthusiastic about it. So here we are then, this is, this is what you can do with this. This is gonna replace Zoom, if you do meetings, it's going to replace Google Meet if you use Google Meet. And I like Google Meet, but this does a lot more and it's a lot more multifunctional and it allows you to get way more prepared than if you're using Google Meet. And um, it's going to replace Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar, all these other different webinar softwares out there that I've just showed you. And you can have a session, which is like a Zoom meeting, straight away just by clicking this Start uh, a Session. Or you can schedule a session in advance, or you can create an event like a workshop or a webinar. So those are the three options that you have with this software. And you've also got a calendar right here so you can see all of your upcoming uh, events and meetings that you have, and you can go and connect it uh, through these, Google Calendar, Office 365, and iCloud. So there's no issues there with like syncing stuff up. But I was really impressed with the platform in terms of actually holding a meeting and everything. I'll just do one like right now. Start a session, this is what you do. Here I am, look, there's me. And then now you can start uh, putting things into your session. So we've got the ability to have like chats down the right hand side here. We can do polls and everything. Not so relevant really with like a one-on-one -on -one meeting or something. We can do Q&A sessions, we can take notes, and then we can do takeaways. But we've also got this AI co-pilot that we can use with the platform, which I really like. And then it transcribes all the meetings automatically. So really, really good. And then in terms of what we can do, we can share a file. We can just go and open a link like this. If I just go and put this in now, look, quite often when you're doing like a product demo or, you know, you're trying to sell your software or something like that, you want to be able to demonstrate your platform maybe. Then you can just drop the website straight into the middle of the meeting. You turn little up there like that. You can also... Uh, 
move yourself around like this so you can be in other places. So it's really, really flexible. And most of the webinar softwares are very rigid, like you've got to have it up here or over there or down there, you know. You might be able to adjust the size if you're lucky, but most of the time it's very, very rigid. Um, so that's like how you would hold a session. But look at this, if you want to, you can go and grab anything that you've previously uploaded to the platform and just drop it straight into this presentation. So here I am now with like some webinar slides that I've already done and I can go through a meeting with a person and we can just discuss everything that's on the slides and so on. But I think one of my favorite features is uh, the ability to um, actually use AI to create an agenda for the meeting. Now, this is very powerful. So let me leave this session. If I just do this, click confirm. I'm now out that session. So what we need to do is just click create an event. I'm going to call it uh, my webinar. There we go. And then um, we're going to choose the date and time and everything. We'll just choose, let's just say about here, two o'clock, and then we'll click create. We can describe our event just here. Um, just type in whatever you need to do. And then we can add speakers to the event as well, if there's multiple speakers. So you can add an existing one that's kind of already been loaded in. Or we can go and add more speakers, like just click new speaker put in all their details here, a photo and everything. And all of this goes to make up your landing page that you can send people to, to go and register. But this is the bit that I really love, an agenda. Now, when you're giving a presentation to sell your software or your service, or you're um, doing a webinar, it's good to have some kind of a structure there that only you can see to make sure that you do everything really well. But with this, we can use AI to do the agenda. So check this out. We click new agenda and then we can use this AI co-pilot. All we need to do is just click on it like that and then we can just say something like this. This will just give us a title for our kind of presentation in a way. Chat GPT for business owners. So it's going to go ahead and generate a, uh, a title. At the moment it's done GPT-3 discussion business owners use cases. That's quite good but let's try again. We can just recycle it, GPT for business owners. There we go, look at that, I like that one there. So we'll use that, GPT for business owners leveraging AI for success. Perfect, so there's our title done. Now we would really like it to organize our entire presentation for us. So if I ask it now to do, let's say a 45 minute workshop, create a 45 minute workshop that teaches business owners how to leverage chat GPT. And now watch this, this is where the AI really helps. It's now created creating a full presentation for us in seconds that is beautifully laid out, calculated down to the minute, ready for us to do for our webinar or our session. We don't have to do an, a full webinar. We can just literally do a one-on-one -on -one and go through this as well. So uh, we'll say, use this agenda. We can move it around and adjust it as required, but I'm gonna say, use this agenda and let's take a full look at this. So first part is like an overview of ChatGPT, the benefits for business owners. Then we've got uh, understanding ChatGPT use cases, explore different areas where business owners can leverage ChatGPT and so on. And then demo, we've got a demo there, ChatGPT in action case studies of uh, chat GPT success stories, and then a Q&A session. So this is perfect for us. This is absolutely perfect. So I can just go ahead and publish that event. Now we'll go through these other settings as well. So you can choose, is it more of a webinar where you just talk at people and they just listen, or is it kind of more interactive? And by just selecting these up the top here, we can choose uh, whether we want to go for either one of those. And then it affects all of these different settings down here. But if I go custom, I would like to, uh, I don't want to have to approve each person before they can join. We'll be requesting people's email address if they don't already have a sessions account. By the way, another good thing about this software is there's nothing to install. So with Zoom, you've always got to install the software. Not everybody has it. Then sometimes it needs updating. And I, uh, to be honest with you, I really don't rate Zoom. I think a lot of people use it just because they've, their marketing has been brilliant and it's become the default. 
But actually, it's really behind the times in the way that it all works. The technology is really old fashioned. So I think you'll find that this is a lot easier to use and a lot more enjoyable to use actually. So just down here, we can choose who gets to react to things in the webinar because they can show emotions and uh, likes and hearts and things. So we'll just say everybody can react. Screen sharing, we don't want everyone to be able to share their screen. So we're gonna pick hosts. Same for the camera, it would be hosts and the microphone hosts unless you had uh, speakers involved, so multiple people, in which case we would have speakers and hosts. And then we have view agenda. Well, we don't necessarily want everyone to see the agenda. That will depend on your use case. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say everyone just for this so that they could see it, but they don't have to. You can have it private so you can go through it in an organized way but they don't know anything about your agenda. They just think you're an amazing presenter. Next up, uh, hide inactive participants. So we would do that. Then we've got automatic recording because every presentation or session can be recorded in ultra HD. And then you will find them there in my memories. So you can go back and take a look. We'll have automatic transcribing and then we've got email reminders as well you can say you know how many days or hours or whatever you would like and they're kind of pre-formatted i don't think there's a way to change those emails you know down to the point this is the event this is when it's happening this is how long it is and and that is it and then after the event we can choose what we want to do with the recording and all of the resources and stuff so we can say uh, anyone with the link, moderators only or attendees can also have the memory access, the access to the recording. And then there's other things here too. So we've got our form. We can create a landing page as well if we want to. I'll just show you how it looks right now. You'll see it's pretty bare bones. The description of the webinar there, the time and everything all there. And then you can have a banner just at the top. So, and then there's the agenda. Look at that. Because we've made it public, everyone can see the agenda on the landing page and then they can see exactly how long each bit is and everything. So it kind of sells the webinar uh, in advance. So I really like that. And just to show you here, if I just, uh, let's just type in logo a moment and I'll go and grab a logo from my hard drive. There it is. And then I can go and grab a banner Let's make sure that banner is looking all right. If I click save and then preview, you'll see how quick it is to just customize it. You know, we've got my logo at the top there. We've got this banner here. And then, uh, then uh, there I am underneath. So great that you can make a landing page that you can send people to. And then we've got participants. Everyone who's registered for that webinar will appear there. And then you can create tracking links as well uh, so that you can see where people have heard about your webinar and then subsequently registered with you. So it's a really good thing. If you did like a YouTube video, an email out and said, hey, register for my webinar, do yourself a favor and create a UTM link for each one of those. And then you'll be able to easily see which was the best way to fill up your webinar. And I think that's so important now. So that is how you go and set up a webinar. So I'm just going to start the event just so that you can see what it looks like from my point of view. We've got my name there. I'm going to click join. And now I have my agenda down the left hand side. So I know very clearly what's going on. But this is really cool here. Look at this. It started the countdown. So you can have a little glance over here and you can clearly see, right, I'm 20, 20 seconds in here of my five minutes. And then you know when it's time to move on to the next thing. So really, really good. And again, we can just go and share our screen if we want to. We can add an agenda. We can do all of these different things. So if I wanted to, I could just click down here and then say, uh, well, we've got our agenda, so that's fine. There we go. Go and grab something like my webinar slides and there we are I can now you know go ahead and start doing my webinar and you can see me at the top there if I want to pop out of there I can do I can still see my chat down the side there and then I've got my files as well if I want to go and shoot some files into the uh, conversation polls really cool so it's just like a, a solid webinar platform and it's, it's transcribing everything that I say right there. And then the other thing that's good is that once it's finished, you can summarize everything as well using AI. So I could have a bulleted list here, click generate, 
and it will just go through and create a bulleted list of everything that I've said in the entire webinar. Now, this is perfect for either emailing to the attendees afterwards, uh, or if you're in a session with a one-on-one -on -one and having a meeting, then doing the same thing. So I could use that now, add it to takeaways, and look at that. With one click of a button, I can send out the takeaways from this session straight to everyone who attended. I mean, that is brilliant feature. That's a feature that not many uh, people have, as far as I can see, in other webinar softwares, let alone on a lifetime deal. So that's why I'm so kind of excited about this software. I really do see the potential of it. And, um, you know, it just does a great job of everything, really. People can do this kind of thing as well, you, so that when they're in the middle of your presentation, they can say whether they like it or not, or they do like it. And you can say, oh, let me see, you know, do you like this? And then bam, 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 everyone just clicks like. It's interactivity that's so important when you're doing a webinar presentation. As I say, I've done hundreds of them, live ones. And uh, it is very important to get people involved, ask questions, do polls. You can create your poll here like this and just add responses and just get everybody involved. Press start. And then this is what happens to them. It pops up right there and then they can choose their answer and you get to see everything right there. So it's, it's just brilliant, very interactive. So I'm just going to uh, leave the webinar right now. And there we go. And so uh, just to remind you of this, let me just get it up here. There's a link underneath this video for you to grab this deal, which I think is crazy good value. Here's the actual site sessions and you can see how they're demoing it there. You can play videos and everything right in the middle of your presentation as well. That's fine. They give you a whole load of use cases. So just click on the link underneath and then you can go ahead and find out much more about this software. But for me, if you're ever doing a Zoom at the moment and you're paying for Zoom, maybe you're paying for some other webinar software, this is your opportunity to get out of an expensive monthly product. Go and get yourself a solid platform that can do it all and save you an absolute fortune. All right, that's it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please do like the video and subscribe for more software and AI related content. I'll see you soon.